Today, we're going to feature something different on the channel. Larry Hofer is a good friend of Peter Dima and often thinking out of the box with unique and innovative ways to make more power, just like many of us already do. I don't know too many people who would purchase a brand new C8 Corvette from the dealership and rip out the stock power plant after only a few days of ownership. I think some of you might find this interesting, especially because this is the very first big block 8.1 liter engine swap in existence to ever occur on a C8 Corvette. This is pretty unique stuff, folks. And if you're into making horsepower, I think you should check this out. We're here at the Corvette shop with Larry Hofer. And Larry, tell me what we got right here. We have a 2001 to 2009 8.1. We've adapted it to the eight-speed transmission in the Corvette. The only reason to have one of these late model Corvettes is a transmission. It's just wonderful. So anyway, we've adapted everything to it. We had to put a dry sump on it. We had to cast up new cylinder heads for the direct injection. Oh, nice. And you can see what's inside there. So that's the high pressure pump. High pressure pump, injectors, and all the fuel rails that go with it. So we had to cast up new heads because, because nobody makes heads for direct injection for a big box. So we made these. These are your 8.1 heads. Right, these are the 8.1 heads that we make for a regular, you know, just 8.1s. Then we had to make all the front accessory drive. We've got variable cam timing in it. This guy here. So okay. he's got the cam phaser and, and hydraulics in it. Had to make a different damper to go on the front. Factory air conditioning. A dry sump pump here because the, the, the engine combination oh, comes yeah. in this car already has a dry sump, so the computer's looking for it. The stock C8 alternator fits here, so all this accessory drive we made. This accessory drive, or the water pump, this is water pump in, this is water out, going through a thermostat. All goes up to the factory cooling system up front. All the factory electronics hooked to it, all this here for the cam phasers, oil pressures, all the, all the connectors that are gonna get done on here. We had to make Headers that adapted to the stock Corvette stuff here. So this is all stock Corvette here. Okay. Underneath here, this is all big block. See all this stuff under here is all big block. Then we put our coils down underneath. So the C8 Corvette doesn't come with a big block in it. No, it, so, it comes with a- So this is really, what could be the first one. First it is. It's Nobody, one. Everybody I've talked to said, you're crazy for doing it. And I can't argue with them. And you know that guy named Pete Ardema too. Yeah, so he, he does just kind yeah, of weird stuff too. So the people that know Pete, the Pete don't know that Larry's yeah, a good friend. They just of Pete. understand this is the kind of stuff that we do. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of the machine work on the heads was done over at Pete's shop also. Yeah. Matter of fact, for the dry sump, we had to make an oil pan for the dry sump. We had to make a lot of, oh, we had to make everything. Um, even the flywheel in this, even the bolt pattern on the back of the block is different than Chevrolet. They don't do it anymore with this transmission. Okay. They have a different bolt pattern, so we had to machine the block for a different bolt pattern up here. And this is the direct shift gearbox transmission? Yeah, this is your dual disc transmission. Wonderful, wonderful part. Yeah. So this is the whole reason for doing this, to be able to put this transmission on this motor. And all of my other cars that I have are all big block cars, so this was just the next evolution. Yeah, but and this, this all fits up in there. Yeah. And this is the... Things. So the folks haven't seen it, all right? So this is it. This is what this the underneath is... of the C8 Corvette looks like. See, we're playing with cooling hoses here. This is where we're at. We've got to make this hose go up to the top. There's another one that comes off here that's going to go up through here. So we got two hoses laying here. Air conditioning goes here. This will all hook back up. This is for the heater hoses and cooling for the transmission. Then we've got electrical and we've got brake lines and everything just wow. plugs back just in. Fits in. A lot of room. Well, this, <laughs> when you say a lot of room, it's it's big here. Yeah. But the dry sump tank <clears throat> sits here, and the exhaust manifolds sit here. And how many miles were on this car before you oh, pulled the motor out? Four thousand something. Four thousand. Yeah. yeah. So didn't yeah, even break it in yet. In two you years. haven't even given it an oil change yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably evaporated by now. Um, and that's where the sump. And that's the sump over here. The this tank, is the dry tank. sump tank. This radi or this intake manifold we had to make because oh, obviously. That's beautiful. What's the back underside look like? Oh yeah. Beautiful. Oh the top's even better. That's why we keep it taped up because we don't want any scratches or bends in it. Yeah. That was done by Larry Stork. 
who he does is. the sheet metal work on Larry on uh, Pete's. Everybody race in car. San Diego that's got a nice car goes to him. Larry Sork, yeah. So he did that, and he also did this dry sump tank. We had to build this, and this looks like the Tin Man on the Wizard of Oz. It so does. We call yeah. it the Tin Man. But this guy goes. You got your hands full. Right there. And see, that's why there's the feed line. There's no extra room. There's where the bodywork sits, right there. Absolutely. And there's your intake. So this guy goes back up on top of here. And here again, there's no extra room, but everything seems to fit. And you've had it up in the car with the intake on? Oh, we've had it on the car 10 times. Okay, so everything's clearing. We found out that this oil pump hose here is a quarter inch too long. That's how tight the clearances are. Yeah. So we've got to make a new hose for the dry stump tank that's a quarter inch shorter. And this is all the other stuff that came off the Corvette to get it out. Yeah, that's the rest of the car. That's the rest of the car, huh? Yeah, it's just hanging out. And that's a, a supplemental cooler? That's the cooler for the engine oil, dry stump. Oh, okay, oil cooler. That's huh? the factory exhaust there. The other header is over there on the right-hand side. The mass airflow sensor, yep. you can see that there. Uh, wow. Dry sump. Most of this is probably. What's that there. apparatus over there? That's a dry sump tank that we were looking at using to start with. Oh wow! But we couldn't make that work. That's out of a late model Corvette. For okay. The dry sump. But that didn't work, so we had to make our own. And then the little box in the corner with the blue cap. That's a computer. That's the computer that's caused us so much trouble all the way through. But I think we've got that covered. So the computer is gonna speak the same language, you think? Uh, HP tuners gave us a whole bunch of parts and said this will probably work probably but you're the first guinea yeah, pig we're the first all right and then here's where the computer goes right and there in the where the torque tube's at here's the water oh, pump there's for the a engine. torque tube why <laughs> i say torque tube no i'm thinking is, i'm thinking torque tube but there well, is this is one. where the torque tube would go in anything no, other than yeah the and that's your water pump and this is our water pump that's going to run the motor wow awesome job larry yeah it's it's been an adventure it was a lot more than i anticipated but well, we're going to put we're this out there sure. on the channel and see if uh, what the responses are and if people are interested in seeing this uh, C8 fire up and run. Well, but, I know there's a, on uh, C4 and C5, there's two different uh, forums on C4 and C5 big blocks. And both my red one with the big block, my 86 is on there. And the C5, which is a 99 with a big block in it, they're both on there too. I mean, because we're pretty much the first to do all this. Yeah. We were, Lingefeller did the 86, I think the first, and then we did it, and another company called M&M that did it, and then from there, just the sprinkling whoever. But on the C5, I don't know of anybody that started early on, because yeah. we did ours in 2000. Yeah, the car was a year old when we put a big block in it. And that was easy, this one's been, Everything on this motor is different. That's awesome. Look at the front. Thanks there. again for watching, everyone. And we'll try to document this progress as Larry gets much closer to putting this thing in and making it run. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll get another video loaded up here pretty soon. Thanks.